Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we're giving some Man United World Cup and friendly news, so be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Come on. We're going to start off with some World Cup updates, of course. And we're gonna dial it all the way back to the 29th of November because we haven't been here for a little while now. So Tyrone Malassi was on the bench in the Netherlands 2-0 victory against Qatar. These are the final group games, by the way. The Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire and Marcus Rashford were all involved in England's 3-0 victory against Wales where Rashford struck twice a sweet free kick, which was his first goal, I believe, that confirmed top spot for them in Group B. Hannibal Mejri and Tunisia exited the competition after a 1-0 shock victory against the change France side, captained by Raphael Varane, may I add. Tunisia finished third in Group D, while France topped the group altogether. Christian Eriksen and Denmark also departed from Qatar after a 1-0 loss to Australia, finishing bottom of Group D on just one point. Lissandro Martinez was on the bench for Argentina <laughs> in their 2-0 victory against Poland. They both made it through to the round of 16 with Poland finishing second and Argentina first. Have to shout out Mexico because their 2-1 win against Saudi Arabia was both exhilarating and heartbreaking at the hey. same time. After such a good performance, goal of the tournament contender from Luis Chavez as well. What a banging free kick that was. Diogo Delo started and Bruno Fernandes was on the bench in Portugal's 2-1 defeat to South Korea. That didn't stop them from finishing top of Group H. We'll get to their round of 16 affair real soon. Facundo Pedestri started in Uruguay's 2-0 victory against Ghana. Sadly for them, it, it wasn't enough to get out of Group H, with them finishing third on goals scored. Pretty rough. Anthony, Fred and Alex Tellez all started in Brazil's 1-0 defeat to Cameroon in Group G. A much-changed side for the Celestal resulted in a late winner from Vincent Abubakar, who bizarrely received a second yellow no. card for his goal celebration. This is Cappy. That was just two jokes. Hey, let me not say too much. <laughs> Brazil finished first in Group D. Hey, 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 CM, listen, yeah. Oh. Next time, don't be losing composure like them things there. Group G, by the way, people. It was Group G, not Group D. Group G. Got them on there uh, smacking on the job again. Cameroon finished third. Typical that CM got me doing a bowl kind of work. But anyway, we move. Shh, we move. Let's get over to the World Cup round of 16. Terrell Melassi and the Netherlands advanced against a USA side who got caught on a counter-attack and made their own mistakes in transition. The final score was 3-1. Melassi didn't feature. And then Sandro Martinez came off the bench in Argentina's 2-1 victory against Australia. That set up an interesting fixture. Did I say that right? <laughs> interesting fixture against the Netherlands taking place on Friday the 9th, which is when this video could be released. By the way, people, be sure to head over to Pros Only Sports, banging watch alongs all World Cup rounds. That makes sense. So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> banging watch alongs for a whole of the World Cup. Covered almost all the games, CM's on there doing watch alongs as well. So be sure to subscribe to Pros Only Sports, the link in the description below. Rafa Varane and France went through to the quarterfinals with a dominant 3-1 victory against Poland. Nothing much to say there. They will face Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire, Marcus Rashford, England, who won 3-0 against the African champion Senegal. Put some respect on their name, by the way. Brazil danced through the South Korean defence CM four times with elegance. With Casemiro starting, Fred and Anthony remained on the bench. And finally, what a sensational victory for Portugal's year, who ended up 6-1 victors against Switzerland. 
Bruno Fernandes and Diogo Delo play pivotal roles in that victory. They'll face Morocco, who stunningly shocked Spain on penalties. Some of these, no, 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 sidetrack settings. Some of these penalties that I've been seeing in the World Cup, and it's not just the World Cup, it's many, 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 many competitions. These guys need to dial it back a little. Back in my day, it was run up and smash. Maybe you can do a run up and place thing as well. But let's do this walk into the ball, nonchalant thing. Cause when you miss, you look like a real idiot. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Mm -hmm. A committed performance from Morocco, start to finish, ended with a cherry on top. Did you see that, Penenka? Mm 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 mm. Congratulations to them. Thank you, Cappy, for your World Cup round of 16 updates. Less of the allegations next time, yeah? Okay. We can speak about Manchester United's first pre-season. Can you say pre-season or just warm-up game before the season resumes again <laughs> against La Liga's Cadiz, in which they lost 4-2. Manchester United lost 4-2 against Cadiz. Anthony Martial and second half substitute Kobe Mainu scored in either half. Sorry if I butchered the name, please correct me in the comment section below. But there were signs of rust and inexperience in the first and second half respectively that led to the result. United will be playing Real Betis on Saturday before the season resumes on the 21st of December in the Carabao Cup where they'll face Burnley. Vincent Company manages them now. Manchester City legendary defender, captain, title winner, you know the rest. So they're going to have to bring their aim game for that one. Of course, we won't have the majority of our full strength squad back. But hopefully we can progress to the next round in that one. And also a question for you guys in the comment section below. Let us know. And also, Cappy, we can get to speaking after we finish here. What, who do you think will get to the World Cup semi-final of all the teams who's left? And... Good luck to the Manchester United players left in the World Cup. Commiserations to the ones who have left. You can get a little bit of rest now, though. You know, the season's starting <laughs> back soon. But a little sidetrack before we finish up here. Free me on Twitter. I've been wrongly banned. If you guys follow me at CM22ENT, you would have noticed I've been a bit silent for the past couple of days. And that's because my account got locked for apparently violating rules on counterfeit goods on Twitter. Now tell me why I was just promoting a stream, which is what I do a lot to be fair. Shout out my guy Roland once again on Pros Only Sports. Make sure you go and subscribe, link in the description. We've been doing live streams on the World Cup, virtually the whole competition. I promoted the stream and I got locked out of my account. I've been wrongly accused of doing something that I didn't do. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So go over, follow my guy, United Twin Cappy over on Twitter. He's trying to act Twitter, Twitter support. Please, I would appreciate if you guys could do the same as well. At them, ask why my account has been locked. Look into it. Help me out. Anything because I've got a 14 day ban slapped on me and I don't think I can handle it. But anyway, listen, thank you for supporting the episode as always. Be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And until the next time, we'll see you lot soon.